Hello and welcome back to Excelsif. I came up with an unusual problem recently while working on a file. Let me show you. It was a similar file like this and I had to check these figures here and modify if needed. And while doing this, I had to keep an eye on the totals as well. So I did what probably any of us would do. Created a pivot table like this one here and continued. But I realized this is not the best way to do it. First issue was, the moment I change a value here, I had to go to the pivot table and refresh it so it's updated. I could have lived with that, but once I was further down the rows, every time I had to check the pivot table, I had to scroll up, refresh it and then come back to where I was, which grew tiresome pretty soon. So I came up with a nifty solution. What if I could move my pivot table every time it goes off screen? Easy stuff. Just go to Pivot Table Analyze tab, click on Move, Pivot Table and choose your new location. But the issue with refreshing still remained. So I had to think outside the box. If I use something other than Pivot Table, something that could update automatically, one of my major issue is resolved. And if I could create something which can simply be dragged, instead of going through the moving of Pivot Table, I could work more efficiently. And I did just that. Let me show you how. First off, let's get our self-updating totals. We'll copy our item list from this pivot table and let's paste them here. Write quantity here and convert this whole thing into a table. We are going to use some if to achieve our goal because this will update our results if we make a change here. So let's write our formula in this cell. Some if for range We'll select our item column. From criteria, we'll select this item name right next to us and for some range, we'll select this quantity column. And our totals match with our pivot table, so we are good. Now let's test this. Let's change the first quantity and see how our solution performs. Let's change the quantity of the first item highlighters by 1000, so it's easy to monitor. Keep an eye on our pivot table and some if it's uh, 2413. Let's make it 3413. And here our quantity has also updated, but not in the pivot table, which is normal. So let's refresh it and perfect. So that's one issue resolved. Now to the next one. What we are going to create is a floating image, which we will drag as we move down our data here. But it's a dynamic image, meaning whatever changes happen here, they are instantly reflected in our image as well. Sounds cool, right? Let's get to it. To do this, we need to enable the camera tool. I have it up here in a quick access toolbar. If you can't seem to find it, click on this arrow here, more commands, change this drop down to all commands, scroll down until you see camera, click on it and then add. I already have it here. So let's get back to the magic we are about to create. Select a sum if table and then click on the camera icon up top. Your cursor will turn to a plus symbol. Select the table again with the cursor. And what do we have here? Let's move it a bit as it's all white now. And here is our dynamic image of our table. Let's test it. I'm going to drag it down. Let's say here. We can't see our main sum if table now. Let's change the value of this item. Scissors in a row number 100. This time, let's decrease it by 1000. It's currently 3464. Let's make it 2464. Press enter and done. This dynamic image of ours is a kind of a TV screen that shows you live images of a match happening miles away in real time. And I'm not calling it an image just for the sake of it. Excel treats it as an image as well. The moment you click on it, you get this picture format tab come up where you have all these options. You can check it and change whatever you want from here. So whenever you're working with a large data set and you want to have the totals, average, the lookups and whatnots at hand, use this. It's going to save you a lot of time going back and forth and not to mention the fatigue jobs like this carry. That's all for today. Subscribe if you haven't already because I'm working on the best shortcuts you should use in Excel, both for beginners and experts. Comment and share this video so you can make someone else's day a bit easier. I'll see you in the next one. Happy spreadsheeting.